What's up, everybody? Uh, we have an incredibly busy day on the homestead today. First of all, because this is here. Our brother brought his uh, Woodmiser LT28 over so we can start making siding out of our logs. And we have a brother and sister who will be here in under four hours to take some sheep back to their place because we have too many sheep. Uh, so there will be Jitsu in our future. Stand by, brace for compact. We'll bring you along for the ride. By the way, if, when you buy gloves from China, they're like, oh, extra large, negative. Ah, not extra large.
Also, every time when I'm like, hey, you guys should find people and do homestead things, the sheep sorting crew has arrived. Let's see, there's me, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, where'd she go? Nine over there and uh, more people en route. So tribe is a blessing. And Jiu Jitsu will start shortly. Dudley, yo, you are, um, you're a black belt in Jiu Jitsu, right? Yes, indeed. All right, what belt do you have in Jiu Jitsu? Jiu Jitsu, I am a white belt. Okay. However, I only had one cup of coffee and I am wearing my shirt. Yeah, what does it say? Touch my coffee and your first Jiu Jitsu lesson is free. Perfect. Exactly. So we're gonna wrestle some sheep here in a hot minute as well. Oh, we're well. gonna get dirty. Yeah, this is afternoon PT for 75 hard. Yes, indeed. Awesome. So we're making one inch thick siding, live edge siding for the outhouse. This building right here. You guys are always like, Bear, what's that green building? It's an outhouse. Composting toilet, outhouse. But see, my brother here cut a three-sided camp, left one edge live, and now he's sawing one inch thick boards. Praise the father. This is totally badass. I love it.
super duper duper awesome. Need about 50 of those plus or minus to do the outhouse on four sides, which is preferable because it has four sides. All right, we got lock number two on, and uh, we're gonna start go uh, start sorting sheep. We got 12 or 15 boards off of that first one. 15, so about, about uh, they're at least a foot wide. They're 20 foot long, 15 times 20, 300 board foot of siding. I'll take it, one inch thick, ish, ish. 2.7 million worth of wood. That's right, yeah. We're flexing right now. Yeah, it's it's more than gold. Those those pine logs are useless. Uh-huh. I'm sure they are. Thanks, Dennis. Woo! Well, this will have to do. Slap sides. Log number two is up there. It's getting cut right now. Got our buckets collecting dust right here for our composting toilet. And then, oh, bear, it's so loud. Boards. Praise ya. Boards. Awesome. Go do the things. Right, don't want the flex in the middle. All right, so I come over here to uh, stuff already being done. Well, because because we had to do sheep stuff, <laughs> and uh, badass sister off camera over here as well. You guys just did all the sheep stuff already. Yeah. Well, well, not all of it. No. You got them corral. Like ninety percent. Which is great because I was not looking forward to doing sheep stuff. Yeah. So you got all of them in there. There's twenty six head. They're Katahdin sheep for everybody who asks. They are hair sheep, not wool sheep. No, we don't shear them. Yes, we eat them. No, they're not pets. Yes, we name them. I also shoot them in the head and then we butcher them and they're they delicious. Don't like you. Don't them out. They don't like me. And there's 26 of them in there. And now that they're in there, you've got this little corral made of cattle panels. Yeah, so we made this, we just hooked together a bunch of cattle panels to make a little square. Uh -huh. And we already have a gate here. And then we put two panels out here on the side of the gate so that when the livestock trailer backs up you can just close and we have that up a little pull in right here off the driveway so the livestock trailer can back in and we can make a chute into the trailer with these outside cattle panels and then open the gate up and basically lift them out and into the thing but yeah i mean it's very much so like hodgepodge yeah. Together. But now you guys are going to go in there and sort. You're going to get the adults and the babies out and leave just the teenagers in there. Right. So we can pick through who we're going to eat and who we're going to give away. Right. Cool. Yes. I'm going to go. I'll wait for you to be available. Or, to or come see me when that happens yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll make sure we get that on you. We got to mill logs. Yeah. Jiu-jitsu. Mm -hmm. All right. Jiu-jitsu. Jiu-jitsu. <laughs> Watch that hole. So yeah. Do that. Yeah. Okay. Go for 
give me this. <laughs> and that might get mama. <laughs> Wow, how about that? You know it's coming. Oh, excuse me. You can't go that way. Okay, so we've got Misty over here on this panel, and then Twitch Cameraman is on this panel, and basically we are rounding, and as the opportunity presents itself, opening the two panels, and the ones that we're keeping flow out, and the ones that we're giving away are staying in. So it's that and a bunch of cooking and stopping. So this is essentially like your shepherd's staff. Yeah, kind of. Pretty much. I need an actual like shepherd's hook. That would yeah. probably be a good thing to buy me. But <laughs> put that on the list for TJ. Right. But yeah, right now we're just kind of going round and round. So we'll uh, keep doing it. Loading time. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Can you, can you kind of... Do we want to jack the front up to so all the way to the bottom? No. Take that stuff up on it. No. I got it. They're just going to be happy to get out of here. All right. You got room to swing? Go on. Be meat somewhere else. Uh, oh, we'll tell you all about that in a minute. I'll get that if you want to go of the uh, like cracked corn or um, they make a scratch grain for chicken. We just all combine that a third, 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 like one bag each. Yeah. Let him go for a In that uh, like in that bin that's right behind you, we we'll just dump it all under there. And then you want to give about eighty to ninety percent of their calories should come from grass or hay. And then the rest of it should come from feed. And you can go 100% grass. But if you're going to eat these suckers, and I know you are, you want to be feeding them grain because it puts fat on them, much sweeter meat. They taste way better than straight grass fed. Just a bunch of soft-handed shepherds. Gentle, kind, loving. Peaceful, loving. Uh, 
That one there on the right is going to make a good ramp. Yeah. That one? Yep. Does this count towards workout today? Yes, it does. We are counting all of this towards 75 hard today. Between milling and uh, sheep wrangling. Yeah, she's probably bred. So expect uh, expect some babies out of her. I don't know if you'll get some or not, but she's very likely been bred and is pregnant. Early stages. This is a monster log made out of pine. And this has what, a 25 inch throat? And we're 26. And we're on shave number two to make it fit in the throat. <sighs> this will be slammed. Well, we're on the sixth log that we're milling, and uh, we got 600 board foot over here, and we moved six sheep. I don't really like them numbers. So, uh, we'll count these board foot right here as well. So that's more than six. And one of them sheep was pregnant, so that's probably eight. And uh, we ain't gonna do another log today. Y'all, we're spent. It's 6 30 in the evening and we're gonna put a bow on this thing thanks for coming along for the ride we appreciate y'all if uh if you're new here click subscribe ring the little bell icon and as always shout out to our patrons thank you for supporting the show you can click the baby bear up here in the background and uh that'll link bring you to patreon where 1500 exclusive videos live 1500 Bear, how do I? It's on Patreon. Bear, what do you think about it? It's on Patreon. Bear, should we do log PT? Yeah, that'll be on Patreon. I appreciate y'all, Bear Nation. Have a blessed day. Shalom.